Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here, returning to you very late tonight for another review. I'll probably have one or two more reviews after this, and then I'm probably going to wrap it up for the night and most likely be busy in the morning because i got to go to a shelter in the next day or two just to bunker down for from the storm and all that. So other than that, this is for... Silosis's new extended play that I got a chance to listen to for The Path. So, I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this 24 minute and 15 second EP. The extended play that I got a chance to listen to. And let you know my thoughts on their new release, The Path. So let's dive into this uh, EP review. Now basically it starts with The Path, which features Debbie Gao goes or whatever her name is um but pretty much with what i listened to excuse me honey uh what i listened to i really enjoyed the path great opening track for sure to start off this extended play and pretty good uh instrumentation josh middleton's uh Vocals sound really good uh, with what I listened to, and his screaming vocals were pretty strong. So I even enjoyed the feature artist, the screaming vocals in this track, Debbie Gow or something. It's something like that. But other than that, uh, five out of five for the past. Great opening track for sure. Sword Ground, Soured Ground, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, pretty strong track too. Really dig this one, and I think Josh Middleton's screaming vocals. Um, keep in mind he was the previous guitarist from Architects and did some screaming vocals for them too. But I believe he wanted to stick with Silosis the rest of the way uh, in his music career because he left Architects due to. I just wanted to try to venture in his own music career path, which is totally fine. Like, every artist has uh, chooses to do what they want in their music career. And it's just, sometimes it's a little hard to give up on people you used to work with. But things happen, and change is the biggest thing in life that most people will accept or can't accept but other than that soured ground is a strong track and i enjoyed this four minute and 40 second song five out of five as above so below great track um really enjoyed the screaming vocals from josh middleton and i really enjoyed the guitar work and drum work it sounded really excellent and it made this song kick ass for sure so really enjoyed this five out of five no saviors is the second to last song for the ep and it's a strong one too really dug this one josh middleton's vocals sound really amazing and i really enjoyed how the sound of uh this track sounded overall so i was really impressed with the screaming vocals from josh middleton and just the way uh, the drum work, guitar work is executing in this track, it did pretty well. So, 5 out of 5. Disavowed is a pretty good song in its own way, but I don't know how I feel about the clean vocals from Josh Middleton in this one. It's not terrible, but it's not great. But other than that, that's my only complaint with the song. Uh, the chorus seems a little whiny in a way with how he's singing it, but it's not terrible. It's just I have a little minor critique with it. But other than that, it's going to bring the rating down a little. But only this track is going to get a 4.75 out of 5. It is pretty good in its own way, but I do have a critique about it, which is some of the whiny vocals from the chorus with Josh Middleton singing in it, 
it's not terrible, but it's a critique I have. And no uh, hate towards the band, because Silosis is pretty strong of a band. They make good music, for sure. So, pretty much 4.75 out of 5 for Disavowed. Not one of my favorites, but not a terrible track. Overall, production, mixing, and execution-wise, I think Silosis, the path for their new extended play, is a really good EP, for sure. For 24 minutes, you're in for some good deathcore, metalcore breakdowns. Uh, instrumentation, like I said, it's the same thing as breakdowns. Uh, pretty strong, and just how each song is executing with its structure and of its melody and all that is pretty good. And Josh Middleton's vocals with his screaming vocals were pretty strong. So, if I were to give this EP its deserved score, I'm going to give it a strong 9.5 out of 10. Really strong EP. Definitely rocks for sure. Highly recommend you check this EP out if you have not listened to it. Because it's been out since October 3rd. And... I just thought I'd review this for you guys, because this is probably going to be one of the last big reviews that I'll be getting to. I wish I could review Chrissy Costanza's new EP that's coming out Wednesday, but the storm's hitting Wednesday, and that's going to delay me for a little bit. I mean, if I do happen to come around to listening to it, I will give you a re quick review for it, or something like that. Or try to find a time where I can sit down, relax, and review it. It may be a little bit till I get to reviewing that. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this EP review for Silosis The Path. And thanks for watching tonight. See you in the next review.